Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, I cannot believe that it's taken me so long to get around to doing this particular video. Yes, this one today is all about my favorite, my absolute favorite discovery of 2020. And it is Ganymede by Marc Antoine Berrois. Ganymede was released in 2019, so actually the year before, but I really feel like that it started picking up momentum in 2020. You started seeing a lot more people talk about it, do reviews of it, and pretty much the discussion revolved around it being such an amazing leather fragrance. Very interesting, very unique. And uh, of course, you mentioned leather to this guy, and you know, naturally my curiosity is peaked, so I definitely wanted to give it a try. Now, Ganymede, um, the perfumer was Quentin Vish, and if you look him up, you're going to find an impressive list of fragrances that he's worked on in the past. Among those are uh, Angel Muse for Mugler, Delina, Delina Exclusive for Parfums de Marly, and for Marc Antoine Berrois, he has done not only the Ganymede, but also the B683 and the new X-Ray version. Um, I have tried both of those as well, and they are phenomenal. I like Ganymede just a little bit better, but um, those two are amazing. And um, as great as those other fragrances like the ones we mentioned are, I, I really feel like that these three are just head and shoulders above all of those um, others. Uh, but we're here to talk about Ganymede. Um, my introduction to Ganymede came, of course, through, you know, social media, seeing people talk about it there. But also, um, a friend of mine and I, we were trying to, on a regular basis, get together um, and sit down with sample discovery sets and uh, to just kind of share with each other fragrances that we had come across that we really enjoyed. And of course, all of this started, you know, pre-COVID. Um, so we only had really two opportunities to get together in person. But the first time that he came over, he brought a sample of Ganymede. And I was pretty excited, you know. I was like, hey, cool, this is my opportunity to try it. Um, his impression wasn't that great from the beginning. Um, I think he really wanted to get my take on it. And to be honest, um, when I smelled it initially, I really didn't know what to think. Um, I, I knew that it was, yes, it was definitely very unique, very interesting, very compelling. But at the same time, I wasn't quite sure that it was one that I would wear or would enjoy wearing. And, uh, we also had this disconnect, too, because we had heard all of this talk about it being a great leather fragrance, but we just were not getting the leather. And looking back on it now, I think that's probably very easily explained, um, because when you look at the notes for Ganymede, so you've got mineral notes, you've got Chinese osmanthus, immortel, um, mandarin orange, and a violet leaf. I will tell you right now, right from the outset, I mean, what you are getting are those mineral notes. Um, they just, I won't say that they overwhelm you, but I, I think it's really hard not to focus on them because as this fragrance transitions, you kind of move in and out of this, you know, very aquatic, watery, ozonic, even at times metallic type of feel. And um, so I think that kind of overshadowed a little bit for us the rest of the composition. But I tell you, the more that you spend time with it, and, and definitely I, I've spent a lot of time with it because when he left that uh, evening, uh, he took his sample home with him. So I ordered my own sample, went through that, um, got another sample, went through that until I finally purchased a full bottle. But uh, yes, I can definitely verify that there is a very strong leather vibe in this particular fragrance, and it is amazing. So let's talk a little bit about presentation, why don't we? So 
Ganymede comes in a box that looks like this. Um, very cool blue box with a metallic gold sleeve. There's a lot of script writing um, there in the background along with the, the name and uh, the name of the house. So it doesn't come wrapped in cellophane, but instead it's got a sill on the back that you have to break in order to release the sleeve in order to open the box. And of course, I showed you what the bottle looked like and you've probably seen the bottle by now everywhere. So you're probably very familiar with it, but yes, the bottle is very nice design, square with the gold plating on the front that um, has the, the name Ganymede and the name of the house kind of cut out of the, uh, the gold plating there. And then the gold cap with the logo on top, very heavy. Um, just very, very nicely done, very classy looking, very upscale. And it's also nice that they offer the 30 mil size um, in addition to the 100 mil. That's a great option for those of us that have larger collections and we just don't go through fragrances as quickly. What truly sold me on Ganymede was the uniqueness factor. Compared to anything else that I have in my collection, especially when it comes to leather fragrances, nothing comes close to this. I mean, I have a lot that I considered my favorites before, but this one is kind of, uh, you know, taking their place. Um, this is definitely one that I'm going to be reaching for quite a bit. Um, it's one that I feel will definitely get you a lot of attention. Whether or not the people around you who smell it get the scent profile or even enjoy the scent profile, they're gonna notice it. They're going to ask you what you're wearing. It's, it's gonna be a conversation starter. It's also a very confident scent. Uh, I could see really reaching for this one when you just need you know that extra boost, that extra pep in your step, if you wanna call it that. And it's also very versatile. So I got this at the beginning of 2021 and so I've been wearing it in the dead of winter and I've had absolutely no problem with it cutting through the cold, the times that I've been able to wear it outdoors. Um, and the weather here in North Carolina fluctuates. So we have some warm days during winter and it's done great in, in on those warm days too. But I am interested to see how it's gonna do in the dead of summer. But uh, the longevity, the uh, the Siage, the Centrale are all amazing. Um, so from start to finish, A to Z, it's just an all around awesome fragrance. So it's probably easy to guess where Ganymede is gonna fall on my rating scale of one to 10. It definitely is a 10, just because it checks all the boxes for me. Leather, check. Uh, versatility, check. Makes me feel great, check. Makes me feel confident, check. The compliment factor, check. Yeah, it just it's all around just um, an amazing fragrance. If you have not had the chance to try this yet, I highly recommend, I highly urge you to uh, get yourself a sample or a decant, give it a shot, and also check out the rest of the Marc Antoine Berrois collection to the B683 and the X-ray version. All excellent. Well, that'll do it for this video today. I am so glad that you were able to stop by. I hope you enjoyed this. And until the next one, take care.